word problems with positive and negative integers, crossing the zero line. This is the long version of part one, adding to negative amounts. It's complicated. This movie will show how to solve complicated problems with positive and negative numbers, like those assigned by the Alex program, with the help of a number line. Did I mention that it's complicated? What a problem is called, addition or subtraction, is not always the same as what you do to solve it. Let's get started. Can you plot these elevations on the number line? Here they are in the picture. Print out a number line and give it a try, then click to continue. Here they go. My secret cabin, down in the valley, my house, and the top of the hill. There they are. Okay, if I say a hill rises up 75 feet from down in the valley. Rises up means what kind of problem? It means that it's an addition problem. There will be more height after you've risen. Your math problem? Negative 50 plus 75 is what new height? Watch it rise. Your new height is 25. Now you could draw a number line for any problem like this or you could learn how these numbers work. Negative 50 plus 75, yes it's rising, but that negative starting point takes that distance away from its final destination. It's got to go 50 just to get back up to zero. Take away as in subtract. That's right, it's an addition problem but you have to subtract to get to the right answer. Opposite sign numbers are going in opposite directions. First set the problem up, then decide what to do, then do it. To add a positive number to a negative number, subtract the number parts, the absolute value, of the numbers to get the final answer. Negative 50 plus 75. Subtract 50 from 75, exactly the same problem as 75 plus negative 50. Because the 75 absolute value is bigger than 50, the absolute value of negative 50, that positive number will dominate. The final answer will be positive. The big idea? Adding different sign numbers, subtract the absolute values. Always subtract the smaller absolute value from the bigger. If the positive value is bigger than the negative value, your final answer will be positive. Try these. Pause the video, figure them out, and then click to find the answers. There they are. Here's a different twist. A hill rises up 25 feet from down in the valley. It's still an addition problem. There will be more height after you've risen. Negative 50 plus 25, but it only rises 20 feet. Puny hill it is. If I add a positive number to a more negative number, the answer is still negative. We didn't climb all the way to zero. Try these. Pause, do them, and then click for the answer. Here they are. So, how to do these problems? First, write the problem out as an addition problem. If it's positive added to negative, you're going to have to subtract to get your answer. The sign of the final answer will be the sign of the dominant number, the one with the bigger absolute value. Try these. It's a mixture. Pause and then click through to get the answers. There they are. And make up some of your own. Answer them and explain why they're positive or negative. That's part one. Part two will help with problems where you're asked how much higher, how much lower, how much less, how much more. And finally, the legal stuff. This is a Creative Commons BYSA licensed work. Others can use, share, keep, modify, even com for commercial purposes, as long as credit is given to me, Miss Sue, Susan Jones, and any new creations are licensed under the identical terms.